G'day Ziggy D here and I'm in. I'm on the PTR. Uh, big shout out to MooCow212 on YouTube for the uh, the tip, the crazy tip that got me in. As you can probably tell from the screen, I'm in the French client. Well, apparently the problem was with the English client and something to do with general chat I was hearing. So I was switching over to the French client, downloading a couple hundred megabytes of files and launching up the game somehow managed to get me into the PTR. So. Stuff's in French, but I can sort of get the gist of what's going on, and I can sort of, sort of still show you guys some of the things that have changed. So, let's start off with the uh, Hotel de Ventes, <laughs> aka the auction house, and some of the changes that have been, happened to it in the PTR. Now, my first one, which is the, uh, the most favourite for me, is that this list, although in French, is alphabetized in English and in French as well, obviously. So that's alphabetical order now instead of grouped by the crazy grouping it was before. I hated the groupings before. I hated having to scroll uh, down to a certain a certain notch here to get to the dexterity and things like that. It's all now alphabetical, so everything's easy to find because we know what letter they start with. I think that's brilliant. So another change we have is that uh, any search parameters you have entered in now, so let's say we have 20 of whatever this percentage thing is, uh, if you switch over to the Real Money Auction House, which you can't do on this client, it will save the settings there. So uh, you don't have to re-enter stats each time to compare things between the Real Money Auction House and the Gold Auction, Gold Auction House, so that's a nice change as well. Also, I just noticed to have these little X's here to clear that, clear that sort of stuff out, so that's pretty neat as well. I'm just going to rock off some of the other ones because they're a bit difficult to show with the auction house being empty, but we also have uh, a preferred stat uh, search for offhands that shows damage, so uh, wizards and witch doctors will be happy about that because they can now search for their off their class specific offhanders by damage. We also have an interesting new one which is when searching for items to purchase, an option to auto fill the stats based on what the player is currently wearing has been added, so that way you can uh, basically fill out all of the things with the same gear that you've got on now and that will look for things that are equal to or better than your gear so that's a nice easy way to search for upgrades. And in addition to that we have a couple bug fixes so that's about it for the auction house. Okay so the last thing I'm going to show before moving on to some of the videos I'm going to make which will be on monster power and a few of the other systems in the game is how to actually enable monster power in the French client and it will be in the same place for the English client. So we have in options and this Dieu one here and then we have this one that says monsters basically at the end there so enabling that one will enable monster power now I don't know why they have it hidden away in the options like they have the which I think is this person <laughs> What is that? That's that uh, personalized mode where you can change your skills. Why they have these things hidden away in the options, I don't know. It seems like monster power should be uh, enableable from the quest changing thing or something like that, or the main screen somewhere, but that's where it is, and that's the way Blizzard seems to like to do their options menus. So that's cool. That's there. Activate this one here if you want to test out monster power if you're on the French client. I had to ask some of the French people in the chat, as you can probably see down there. Okay, so once you've been in the options and enabled monster power, the last thing to do is just to go to actually actually set your monster power is just to go into the quest change uh, options here, and you can scroll down and select any of the difficulties there in the French client that just labeled by numbers. So nice and easy to find. Now the only issue with this is if you're starting a brand new game, you have to start the game and then exit it. So wait your 10 seconds to exit, and then you can get the quest change menu up here. I couldn't figure out any way to get the monster power options to go from a brand new game. You have to log in and then log out first. So that's it for now. I'll be coming up with some new videos soon. I'm going to be taking a look at uh, monster power, the effects of monster power on leveling, and the effects of monster power in Inferno, and uh, how just how the the HP and magic find and experience scaling works for that. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.